Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. I am Jawad Sumro, graphic designer and video editor. I do all kind of designing, logos, brochures, newsletters, etc. And all kinds of video editing, event videos, conferences, promos, etc. If you want me to do your branding and help you with the marketing stuffs, message me or email me right now. By the way, if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe my channel. If you are already my subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. Adobe InDesign has set of tools that are different from others. Nevertheless, there are few tools in InDesign that may look like they aren't useful on the first sight. But these tools are present in Adobe InDesign definitely for some great purpose. But once you start using those tools, they become part of your life. In this tutorial, I will highlight one of the InDesign tools that most people are unaware about. That is the Gap tool. Well, this is not just an ordinary tool. It is more than that. You see, sometimes when we place the objects or images on the page, often we mess up the space between them. With the Gap tool, we can maintain those gaps and balance the layout very easily. Overall, it simplifies our workflows. You want to know how I did it? Keep watching this tutorial till the end as I will uncover everything about the Gap tool. What is the Gap tool? As we all know, gaps are the spaces between the objects. At some point, you would want to change the size of two or more objects without affecting the gap size then Gap tool is right tool for you. The Gap tool makes it very easy to change the width or height of the objects while maintaining the space between them. It also lets you resize several objects that have commonly aligned edges simultaneously while keeping the gaps between them fixed. It's a one-step way to adjust your layout by directly manipulating the space between the objects. Gap tool is used to adjust the size of a gap between adjacent objects or between the objects and from the edge of the document page. It works in both vertical and horizontal directions to construct fluid layouts within the InDesign document. So, there's a lot you can do with this tool. In short, the Gap tool provides a quick way to adjust the size of a gap between two or more objects. How to use the Gap tool? To begin, let's create a new document. This can be achieved by going to File, New, Document. Shortcut key is Ctrl N. Let's first draw few objects on this page. I'm drawing squares over here. Now, I'm gonna make copies of this square holding the Alt and Shift key. And then release. Alt key duplicates the objects and Shift key works like a smart guide to indicate the consistency in distance between the objects. If you want to know what smart guides are, I have included the link in the description. Great. Let's give them different colors so that you guys can compare the changes. I am giving blue color to the first column, green color to the second column, and purple color to the third column. Now, it's the right time to use the Gap tool. Gap tool is located in the toolbar panel just below the page tool. Can you see this double headed arrow sign? This is the Gap tool. Shortcut key is U. If your toolbar doesn't appear like this, then look at these double arrows at the top corner of the toolbar. 
you can click here to toggle the toolbar of full view and half view. Select the gap tool and bring it over these boxes. Now see, the cursor sign has changed into double headed gap tool icon. Also, the spaces or alleys between the items are highlighted in bright gray color. This indicates that the space between the objects has been selected. And the gap tool is ready to resize the items while maintaining the gap between them. Click and drag the square up and down for horizontal gaps. And left and right for vertical gaps. You can see gap between the objects remain constant while sizes of the objects change. Now here's the thing. As I am dragging one square, it is actually dragging other edges and squares as well. It is because gap tool works like all the rows together or all the columns together. Let's undo this. Control Z. Now, if you want to change the functionality of gap tool, let's say change the gap of two boxes only. Then hold the shift key and then drag the objects. In this way, only the objects will be affected that are closest to the cursor. It is as simple as that, isn't it? Three amazing functions of the gap tool. So far, you have learned what gap tool is and how to use the gap tool. You might be thinking that gap tool is just not so special tool. Well, I am going to uncover three secret functions of gap tool that you might have never heard of. The first one is resizing the gap while maintaining the size of the objects. You heard me right. Let's focus on these first two boxes. Keep in mind, holding shift key is very important to only affect those objects closest to the cursor. Now, hold shift key and control key as well and drag the objects left and right. You see? How amazing this effect is. It is changing the gap between the boxes while the object sizes are constant. The second one is moving the objects on the page without affecting the object sizes as well as gaps between them. Let's say these left two squares on the middle. Hold the shift key and alt key. And drag the boxes left and right. You can also drag them up and down. You see how amazing this effect is. You can already imagine how it will help you to control the overall layout of your document. The third one is holding both Ctrl and Alt key together. Obviously holding the Shift key as well if you want to affect two objects only closest to the cursor. Hold Shift, Ctrl and Alt keys and drag the bottom boxes. You see, you can resize the gaps between boxes without changing their sizes. The gap of the objects can be as close as 0 pixels to each other. If you want to do this for first two columns, then there is no need to hold the shift key. Hold Ctrl and Alt key and drag it wherever you want. Now, let's summarize this. Hold Ctrl key to resize the gaps between the objects without disturbing the object sizes. Hold Alt key to move the objects around the screen without disturbing the gaps and object sizes. Hold Ctrl and Alt key together to move the objects on the screen resizing the gaps between them without affecting the object sizes. Using Gap tool on Groups now this one is extraordinary function of gap tool. I am calling it extraordinary for a reason. Because under normal conditions, gap tool will look at every single object on the page and find an appropriate gap. As far as the gap tool is concerned, all the objects inside a group are treated as a single object. And when you adjust a group, the entire group will resize or move as a single unit. In this case, the boxes that I had drawn before were not grouped. Which means, they were copies of squares arranged in rows and columns. 
What if we group the few squares together and see how gap tool will work? Let's find out. First of all, I am deleting all these squares. I am making new squares of 5 rows and 4 columns to fit on this page. Let's give first column a green color. Second column, blue color. Third column, red color. And last column, purple. Let's group these 9 blocks at the bottom right. Select these blocks and right click and choose group. Shortcut key is Ctrl G. If you want to ungroup it, then right click and choose ungroup. Shortcut key is Ctrl Shift G. I am keeping it as a group. Let's group first 6 blocks on top left. Group these 2 blocks as well and these 3 blocks as well. Let's use the gap tool on these grouped blocks. As I hover on these rows and columns, you see not entire column gap is highlighted. Also, not entire row gap is highlighted. So, if I use the gap tool on this group, only that particular group object will be affected. However, if you use gap tool between two groups, then both groups will be affected, each group maintaining its own gaps. Isn't that an amazing feature? You can also use Ctrl key and Alt as well as both together to work like same function that I had mentioned before. However, Gap tool will never break the group rules unless you ungroup the objects. So next time, if you are using a Gap tool and if you notice that entire rows or columns are selected, it will be because that objects weren't grouped together. Tip number 1. The gap tool can work on either horizontal or vertical gaps. Obviously, like I have shown before, the horizontal and vertical gaps are affected as I move the cursor on rows and columns. It cannot be diagonal for sure. Tip number 2. The gap tool can be applied even if there is no space between two objects. Even if there is no gap between two objects, then the gap tool modifies the size of the objects without opening the spaces between them. Let's use these four images as an example. With AutoFit on, placed images will continue to honor frame fitting settings as the gap is modified. I hope this tutorial gave you useful information regarding gap tool in Adobe InDesign that will help you in your future projects. If you have questions related to Gap Tool or Adobe InDesign, please add them in the comment section below. I would be glad to reply you. Your feedback will be much appreciated. Thank you for watching Javasumra Productions. See you in next tutorial. Goodbye.